Putting the Extended Evolutionary Synthesis to the Test is a research programme comprising 22 research projects. The guiding principles for the 22 projects are to identify conceptual differences between traditional and alternative interpretations of the evolutionary process. This enables us to develop theory that fills the gaps in contemporary understanding and to devise key projects that provide critical tests of points of contention. We're also developing new methodologies and research avenues motivated by the extended evolutionary synthesis. The research is organised into four themes. The first theme, on conceptual issues, places the current discussions about the extended evolutionary synthesis in a historical and philosophical context. We assess how developmental processes and emerging views of inheritance and biological causation affect the structure of evolutionary theory and key evolutionary concepts such as fitness. Philosophers of science will bring increased awareness among biologists of how conceptual frameworks shape their own research. Our second theme, evolutionary innovation, explores when, how and why new variants appear. These projects include the use of new exciting methods adopted from computer science to model the evolution of development. Investigations of how widespread developmental bias is using experimental and comparative analyses and a study of how developmental mechanisms contribute to the emergence of multicellularity. The third theme, called inclusive inheritance, focuses on extragenetic forms of inheritance. These projects model the evolution of inheritance mathematically and explore whether the mechanisms of inheritance affect future evolution. Experimental studies, for instance using dung beetles and water fleas, investigate whether extragenetic inheritance systems also evolve properties that shape how evolution works. Our final theme focuses on directional biases in evolution. A central concept is developmental plasticity, the ability of individuals to change their form in response to their environment, which is a major source of bias. Projects on lizards, fish and insects would test the hypothesis that plasticity initiates and directs evolution by shaping the variation available to selection. We're also rigorously testing the extent to which niche construction, that is, changes in environments caused by organisms, directs adaptive evolution using a number of experimental systems, such as bacterial communities and coral reefs. This research programme is among the most ambitious ever proposed for evolutionary biology. It's funded by a John Templeton Foundation grant and institutional contributions to salaries and studentships. We hope that it will constitute a major step forward for the field, leaving it a richer and more diverse discipline with a deeper understanding of the causes of evolution.